<laughs> we saw this idea on the warble. Man ramp! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to build my own mini ramp, but never had the space or money to do so. Until now! So with the help of my friends Cody, Tasman, Aiden, Devin, Shiloh, me, Ethan, and this duck, today we're gonna build our own mini ramp. But first we have to find a place to build it. Oh, this is like perfect. Oh, there's a skink. Now we had the location sorted, we needed to go to the skate park to measure the local mini ramp. We just want to get an idea of how big it actually is. I feel like the mini ramp's gonna look a lot bigger inside the barn than it does outside at the skate park. You got the measuring tape? Yes, sir. Now we're gonna see how it's gonna look in here. Bunnings Warehouse! We need to see what kind of wood we need to get for this mini ramp. Bunnings Warehouse! Oh, lowest prices are just the beginning. What do you think about this wood, Cody? I like that. Boy, oh, that's actually perfect. Oh, you just got pocket check. Yeah, Are you checking for my heater? Okay, I'm checking I'm for, checking for my heater. Off. Pocket check. <laughs> <laughs> There's this really famous skate spot called the Pink Motel, and they have a bowl that I think we should try and recreate the vibe of. Yeah, silk blue yeah. and the northern blue. The next morning, it was time to start on this thing, so we got up early and went to the store to get all the materials. I'm on my way to the hardware store because we're picking up all the materials, and hopefully, we'll get the majority of it done today. Congratulations, you did it. I did it. We have acquired that trailer. What the dog? Cody and Aiden managed to get to the store before me and secure all the wood. Because here in New Zealand, wood's in very high demand. So there, $7.43, you have to a meter. We're buying six meter lengths, and we yep. need 42 of them. $1,872. Oh. We managed to secure the wood, and now we're here at a steel shop to get the coping for the ramp. Let me give it the dad check. Uh, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> the last place we need to go to is Bunnings to pick out the plywood, paint, and a bunch of screws and stuff. And then we've acquired all the things we need to make this mini ramp. Now we have all the materials, we have to trace the transition at the local mini ramp because it's perfect. Looking at that and being in here, it makes you like... Oh yeah! We're gonna have one person drawing out the transitions, one person cutting the logs, one person painting. We're gonna get this done in like two hours. So that's quarter pipe, quarter pipe, flat, flat, quarter pipe, quarter pipe. Uh, we're gonna make eight of these and then we'll have our transitions. Coping right there. Ethan said he's volunteered to come help us. Thank you, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty. Looks like strawberry ice cream. You better not drink it all, dude. <laughs> Remember last time. Yes. These cut out, so now let's cut out all of these lengths. How many chads be like this? <laughs> oh, <see? laughs> We're making progress. Look at this pile of wood. Yep, we have a pile of wood. Look me in the eye. You wanna come hold this wood? You're a menace. <laughs> <laughs> the Grim Reaper pulled up to your house. Jeez. So I don't know how strong this handle is. The transition done. The logs done. Well, should we start putting it together? Should. All right, let's do it. It is 5:51. We'll have this done by like 10:11. <laughs> I think we'll have it done by nine. <laughs> oh. Like that top is, that it has to be straight. Yes. Oh, baby, shoot the camera's well. Oh, honey, she's 
good. She's good, exactly. mate. She's good. <laughs> it's gone crazy, man. Right, it's been in this shit for too long. Yeah. yeah. If my calculations are correct, the quarterback should fit right there. Cody found a bow and arrow. Oh geez, all right, that's it. There's no, no more of that. There's gonna be 10 lights in each section. I feel like this would be zigzag. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do, you stagger. Yeah, yeah, you go like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 1131, and we've got the floor done. It's 139 and I know we said we were gonna get this whole thing done, but it's just not happening. We got the whole skeleton done. It looks pretty sick. We'll be back tomorrow to finish it. We underestimated how big of a project this was gonna be. It just got to two o'clock at night and all of us were freaking exhausted. This is where we got to last night. This next stuff's pretty easy. Should I take that back? I feel like every time we say the hard part's over, yeah. then a harder part comes after that. <laughs> Wait, Devin, look at me with the socket. Socket man. <laughs> yeah. Socket man. Turning over nuts and bolts real good. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Hey, what time is it, Aiden? It is... 3.56. No, it's time to put the coping in. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. That's straight. It's as straight as me. <laughs> So we're gonna put the tech screws through the back of this wood and then into the coping. Oh yeah. No, I, I can come, yeah, I can come, come. Hey Ethan, I'm gonna need you to make sure you bring a can-do attitude. Okay. Boy, if you show up without that can-do attitude, you're, you're walking your ass straight out of here, man. Well, well, well. You're wearing, why'd you wear your nice that came from? Really? God damn, you're gonna get pink paint all over your rhinestones, man. Your bedazzlement. Yeah, pink paint all over the bedazzlement. And those shoes? Bro, he really showed up and flexed on us. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Not going anywhere. All right, let's put the fly on. It's gonna be rideable after we're done with this. Sick right now. It's about to look sicker. First fly is down. It's looking freaking spicy. Oh yeah! That's like the perfect highlight. I'm gonna become pro, basically. This is taking a lot longer than we first expected. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wanky cut this piece. Day three of working on this thing, and we are starting to realize that we may have overshot a six hour goal of completing this. Surely it'll get done today. I think. This is the final piece. Done! Hell yeah! It's finally done! The first drop in, we all have to drop in at the same time. Yeah! First drop in yes. on the new mini round! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, the first ride?
First blunt on the new mini round. It is super clean. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect mini ramp. Best mini in the world. There's one final thing we need to do with this ramp. We gotta add some tile looking things. And once we do that, this ramp will be done. <laughs> Thinking about making them around this big. Satisfying part. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's done. Looks like the ramp they would have outside, like an ice cream shop or something. Oh, so like these won't do anything. I slam. The adrenaline is bumping, man. Let's see my hobby right now. You got the Fitbit on. Let's go, Tasman. Yeah. Because I never tired of it. Are you down for a challenge for the first try? Yeah, okay, well, I want you to drop it off of Mini ramp, this is probably one of the coolest things we've made so far. Pretty much a dream come true to have this private mini ramp. We can ride it whenever we want, if it's raining, if the sun's out. And that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure to come back for the next video. And also make sure to subscribe!